I asked, and Max Riser told. Hey guys, it's Call Me Adam, and we are here at Gossip Bar in New York City in Hell's Kitchen with Max Riser. Hi. Who is an actor, producer, writer, sometimes director, and his newest film, Chaser, is making the rounds of the LGBT film festivals around the world, not only the country, but the world, which is kind of awesome. And it's going to be in Brooklyn at the Brooklyn Film Festival June 3rd and June 5th. So everyone watching, be sure to get your tickets. And if you don't, then you'll miss an amazing movie. So we're going to get started, awesome. and we're going to find out all about you. Great. So um, first of all, who or what inspired you to become an actor, producer, writer, sometimes director? Yeah, it's, it's sort of a roundabout story. I have an older brother who is an actor, so he was definitely always an inspiration. Uh, but when I was a fat little kid uh, coming to terms with being gay long, long before I came out, um, I was watching Whoopi Goldberg on Larry King. And I had just watched her in the film Boys on the Side, so I was convinced she was a lesbian. And so I'm thinking, here's this the black lesbian woman speaking to millions of people all over the world and why why are they listening because she's an actress and i think there was something about that that um that visibility she had the influence she had that really struck a chord in me awesome. who haven't you worked with that you would like to uh i had a feeling you were gonna ask me that question <laughs> uh the, the truth is a list of the people i admire and i'd love to work with is is fairly endless um i always joke with people that yes i will go on vacation on this and this date unless I have a scene to do with Meryl Streep, mm. then I'm going to cancel. Um, she is my most popular answer. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Everybody oh, wants ding, to ding, work ding, with ding, her. ding. Well, she's phenomenal. Yes. Um, but yeah, no, I, I admire a lot of actors. There's a lot of really talented people out there, and I'd be uh, thrilled to work with almost anybody who's not a diva or a dick. Can I say that? You can say that. A dick. Yeah, it's my blog. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> awesome. Dick. <laughs> Somehow I think that's your favorite word. <laughs> one of my favorites. One of my okay. What's your other one? I can't. <laughs> Why not? I just can't. Okay. Maybe a little later in the interview later, when we later. get more comfortable. <laughs> okay. The urge for destruction is also a creative one. He wants something. But he's afraid to act. Your new film, Chaser, is making the rounds. So what made you want to star and help produce the film? Um, well, I was working with Sal Bardo on uh, his previous film called Requited, actually his first film. Um, and while we were working on that, we just started talking about um, sexual subcultures, especially in the gay community. And we had both heard about Chasers and were quite uh, intrigued, for lack of a better word, by uh, the phenomena of chasing, bug chasing, and gift giving um, and we just we we met up at my apartment and started brainstorming and then we met up at my apartment again and started brainstorming and about a week later we had the first draft of what is now chaser and I'd always wanted to play the character mm -hmm. um, till we got to the final draft and there was a bareback sex party mm. where my character gets gang banged mm -hmm. and just because I'm still at the beginning of my career I was like wow do I really want the whole world to see me getting gang banged do I want that to be my intro um, so I took I, I seriously took some time um, to think about it um, and I decided when else will I get to play a, a role like this so I just decided to seize the opportunity awesome um, yeah awesome. and I'm very happy I did oh good good well I'm sure everybody else will be very happy that you did fingers too fingers crossed yes. fingers crossed <laughs> and does every I don't know if everybody knows what chaser what bug chaser is or gift giver um the chaser bug chasing is somebody who's actively pursuing uh, the HIV bug, the virus, who want to become infected. The gift givers are the ones who are already infected and are actively trying to spread the bug, and they view it as a gift. They're giving the gift. Um, yes. <laughs> well, this film should create a lot of dialogue. Well, that, that, was, that was totally the intention. Like the, the main challenge with the film was to... Uh, stay very neutral in the storytelling. Introduce the people to the main character, Zachary Gold, and try and show enough of his life so that when he does engage in this dangerous activity, people are affected by it and they, they question why somebody would do that. And that was really the idea, to raise the question of why would somebody 
expose themselves to the bug in that way. So Chaser is being seen around the world at GLBT film festivals, including Brooklyn, again, on June 3rd and June 5th. Right, and what's wonderful about our, our official New York premiere is that the Brooklyn Film Festival is actually not an LGBT film festival. So it's great to come to New York in a mainstream festival um, because we, you know, we want everyone to see the film. It's not just gay people that are chasing the bug. Um, so we're very happy about that. Oh, that's terrific. Yeah. That's really great. So make sure you go and get your tickets. Um, on June 3rd or June 5th. What does it mean to you to have the film seen in so many festivals, not only around the country, but it's around the world because it's in Tel Aviv and New Zealand? Yeah. What is the what is it like to get this response to it? Um, it it's been really amazing. We both, Sal and I, really hope that, uh, that it would be screened around the world because like the main point of making this film was to start the dialogue. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be a big Hollywood blockbuster. It's not going to make us rich. It's not going to make us famous. The The idea was to you know, raise that question and have people think about it. So for it to be widespread as it is and for it to be coming home to New York at the Brooklyn Mainstream Film Festival is, is just really, really, really awesome um, and valid. So speaking of Sal Bardo, yes. who you produced the film with, yeah. what has been the best part about working with him? Uh, Sal was really great from the get-go. I mean, it was lucky or fortunate or destined that he felt the same way about these sexual subcultures, in particular chasing as I did, and everything just moved so quickly. We brainstormed, I had very specific images I wanted in the film. He got on board, he had some specific things he wanted. He churned out the first draft really quickly, was really open to all my suggestions, and we, just, we worked really well together. Thanks for watching. For more Call Me Adam, visit callmeadam.com or follow me on Twitter at callmeadamnyc or facebook.com slash callmeadamnyc.